what's up you guys after share reaction and today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the flash this is season seven episode um 14 so let's get into it please don't oh don't great do this. You're such a prima. great I'm, to be honest, not really looking forward to this one after that. I don't care about her. I barely care about Electro. She's been better this season, I will say. But, yeah. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll try and keep an open mind. Yeah, there's this great island there, super secluded. And it's been pretty quiet here. So I'm zooping Iris away for a little vacation. Actually, it was Chester's idea. Oh, Remember? so you're not going to be in the episode, probably. Hey, Chester! Iris, Iris. Wait, if you're down here and he's down here. No. no. Oh my. No, no. As much as I'd like to. So, cell phone receptions, uh, non-existent, so we're going to be off the grid. Oh, that's Pretty not nice. good. Just to uh, focus on you're each other here. while we're trying to, um, I mean, Iris and I, while we're trying to... Trying to reconnect. Reconnect, right? yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, because lately, if one of you isn't stuck in the Mirrorverse... The Mirrorverse. ...and the other's stuck in some psycho mass hellscape, yeah. am I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Have fun. Thanks. Yeah. I do like the idea that they're trying, rather than so, just accidentally boss, ending up pregnant. Boss, boss lady away, need us to do anything? Nope. No baddies means we can take the day. Frost? If you're free, I could use a chaotic good ice sorcerer to help me slay the bog beast of Baladoc. I don't have to take a pass. I've got a personal errand to run. Need any help? Nope. I'm going shopping. Have fun storming the castle. What well, say the fair maiden care to join me in an epic quest? Sorry, I got a hot news tip. Got a follow up. I just got an anonymous tip that's going to help me find my cousin. As in. Ultraviolet? As in the black hole meta assassin that tries to kill you every time she sees you? Her name's Esperanza, and I get how it sounds. She's been taking out targets. First here in Metropolis, then in Opal City. I think her next assassination is in Central City. Oh, oh because this is the devil. Me buscabas prima. It's like she Listen to me. I don't want to fight. This is always getting crashed. Stop! I won't let you hurt my friends. Figures are a part of this. Well, I can't expect you to fail on your missions all on your own. Except for that one time in Belize. <laughs> that was hilarious. What made you think going after her alone was a good idea? I mean, she wasn't. She in the team, came but off surprised us. Uh, side note, prayer hands emoji for the save. But how'd you know we were in trouble? Uh, it's one of the reasons I stuck around. I heard chatter about an ex-black hole assassin nearby. Good thing I went hunting. Speaking of, where are the big guns? Frost is radio silent, and Barry and Iris are off the grid. Well, that's reassuring. I don't suppose you've learned how to melt someone's face off with your powers yet? No. Okay, great. Well, it's a good thing just his wrist got hurt because we don't have nearly enough muscle to handle this mission. But I can still save Esperanza. You want to save her? Yeah, like Barry does with the bad guys. I mean, <sighs> not so much save her, but redeem her, I guess. I don't think we can take on Ultraviolet by ourselves, let alone change her overnight. Uh, I mean, I you do it all the time, choice. to be honest. Allegra said that Ultraviolet is here to kill somebody. That means there's a life in danger. Is it saving people with Team Flash 101? Chester's right. We need to stop her. Fine. But family or not, she will try to kill you if she gets the chance. Stay away 
waiting for me. Not until you're dead. Run. Tell whoever hired you the assassination is canceled. You fools! I wasn't hired! I'm hunting the doctor that created me. You just saved the man that turned me into a monster. You can turn you into anything. You going after and killing people. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Blame your own actions. Did he really used to work for Black Hole? Talk to us or talk to CCPD. The choice is yours. Although I hear their cells are much less comfortable. He vivido peores momentos. Do you know how I got this little gift? I remember seeing white light everywhere, blinding me while I was held down. Why is her? Why has she got like such an accent? And I felt a scalpel slice into me. I fought back, but I was tied down. All I could do was scream until they cut my voice out of me. I didn't know. Where's Doctor Olsen? Okay, so don't know. He must be actually your voice. He is still out there, turning new lab rats into weapons for the highest bidder, abducting victims who won't be missed when they disappear, like me. I never meant for this to happen. I swear. You abandoned me, cousin. Left me alone for Doctor Olsen to find. El era el carnicero, pero tú fuiste el cuchillo. We'll help you get him. I promise. Uh, sidebar, please. You want to join her now? This Olsen guy needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else, and Esperanza's the only one who's had any luck tracking him down. Okay, we cannot trust her. Black Hole has twisted her mind in ways that you can't even imagine. There's no coming yeah, back. Yeah, she's right. You can't be sure. Yes, I can. No, she's right. Working with her is a suicide mission. You need to know that. I know what Barry would do. I say we go after this doctor together. Sure. Whatever. You and Prima? Come in. We need to talk, Captain. Interim, Captain. And since you're no longer a cop, what exactly do we have to discuss? Where did you get this? That's not important. What matters is, I could have gone to Chief Singh with it, but I chose to come to you first, because deep down I believe you are doing your best to be a good cop, which means I should listen to your side of the story. Get out. Excuse me? I take your job, now you take me down. Do you dig up some crap you can twist for your personal vendetta? I... Enough! <laughs> You try a stunt like this again, and I will arrest you myself. Uh, you for your own good. Move you on. Can't and rest. arrest him. Find for a new hobby that. and get the hell out of my office. He hasn't broken any laws, lady. Now generate a single blast that destroys your target and focus. I mean, she can do this. She's used their powers before. Why? Why all of a sudden can she just fight. not? Try harder. Makes no sense, but sure. Doing the best I can. It's not good enough. No, you still think you can change her? She's got this crazy idea that you're not a total lost cause. Noble, but dumb. Just stay out of this. You think you know your cousin? I know the real ultraviolet. Let me show you. Un automobile? Yo, yo, who's ready for a snack attack? Chuck! You could have killed him. So, he's useless. As are you. I'll finish this on my own. Nunca me vuelvas a buscar. Set her free for no reason. Like, <laughs> Runk, she is still not thinking straight. You've got to help me talk some sense into her. She's literally, well, you'll I mean, literally be the only one you. She'll thinking listen. straight. I mean, I mean, yeah, we're friends and all, but I really don't think I can change her mind. Not on this. Okay, fine. Then I will do it myself. She's got to realize that sharing a back alley yin yang tattoo with someone doesn't mean you're bonded forever. Yin yang tattoo. Great row. Arrest you? Are you sure Kramer's serious? Uh, you should have seen her, Cecile. It was like how a guilty person reacts. So she really did have something to do with getting her own troops killed. If this is true, I have to go straight to the governor's office. 
Babe, CCPD was like my second home. I trained most of the officers there. They're like my family. Now I can't help but wonder who did I leave my kids with. That's not on you. I put my badge down. Kramer picked it up. It's all on me. It's Kramer. She wants to meet up. Joe, no, she might be baiting you into a trap. You can't go. I know, but babe, I can't help but feel there's something more to this. What am I supposed to do? I really don't like the fact that Barry's just on an island with no reception like you're a fucking superhero the fuck dude you're a good man joe west mm. you forget everything that's in that folder your heart's always been your best compass right so trust it trust your heart it'll show you what's right it was a good try it was but ultraviolet a is never try, gonna actually. Change. You need to give up before you get yourself or someone else killed. I can't. I mean, you probably will get someone else family. killed because yeah, she's now free. That. No, you don't. You grew up in some mansion with two loving parents. But for most of my life, it was just Esperanza and me. She's more than just my cousin. She's the reason I survived long enough to be here. I have to save her. Some people are too far gone to save, even if they're your family. How can you say that? You fought Black Hole to save your parents. That is not the same thing. Why not? Why is your family good enough to save, but mine isn't? Because I didn't family. save them. Okay, but her family didn't kill them. By anybody. the time I got my parents out of Black Hole, it was way too late. The people that raised me were gone. Carver put my parents in charge of all international accounts. He gave them 10%. As long as they kept all of Black Hole's overseas assets hidden from the U.S. government. Carver bought my parents' loyalty for billions. And once they got a taste, they needed more. And what happened once Carver was gone? It doesn't feel right, but sure. My parents were in too deep. And worse, they got used to this lifestyle. I feel like that doesn't no make sense to who we met, sure. I could not pull them out. Because they didn't want out. Which is why you have to pull with everything you have. When I first met Team Flash, it was in handcuffs. When they first met you, you were robbing a bank. We didn't want help either. This team never gave up on us. So thanks for the reminder. But I'm gonna go find my cousin. Your tattoo! <gasps> it's a yin-yang symbol. Two sides that make a hole, opposite, but the same. Sorry, look, I know how to track ultraviolet. We couldn't track ultraviolet's unique light signature because there's too much interference from other light sources in the city. But you and ultraviolet have the same powers. So if we use you as an input signal, satellites will search for its counterpart signal, a.k.a. the yin to your yang, ultraviolet. Focus your energies here. Get your shine on. We found her. <laughs> oh, my arm. Oh, sorry. It's OK. Looks like she's in a rundown warehouse that's wired for tons of shady tech. It's got to be Olsen's hideout. OK, we better hurry. Come on. No, no. I almost got you killed once already. Esperanza's my problem. I need to do this alone. Look, I know I can't do the fighting like you guys, but I can still help my friends. You've done more than enough. I can't risk Allegra, having... Allegra, I'm not taking no for an answer. Not again. My favorite patient. You surprised me earlier. So happy to return the favor. Dr. Olsen, ready to die? That depends. Are you ready for one last experiment? Why? Why would you even sit? What the fuck? Getting to her is going to be the tricky part. I've got company. Oh, I got just the thing for those electro pulse rifles. Hold on to your bolts. That is one EMP courtesy of Chester P. <laughs> I'm heading down there. These are just two characters left to not give a shit about. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Those guys Going got after a villain I do not care about. Another EMP would be great right about now. Uh, the mobile unit doesn't have enough juice for another pulse. <laughs> this is just a random line then. Go find your cousin. I got this. Don't worry, boys. I'll go slowly. <laughs> You need to come with me now. We don't have time for any. She isn't the one who's run out of time, my dear. What did you do to her? I made her into a weapon without a voice. 
And these hands are the only ones that can return what was taken. You can't so return. We made that. a deal. I'll give your cousin her voice back if she kills everyone who knows the true nature of my work. Fucking stupid. You and your team. That is stupid. Oh my god. That's Let's go. Lights out, boys. He's lying to you, Prima. Listen to me. I'm your family. We're blood. Blood is a liquid, easily spilled. Power is eternal. And money provides it. I mean, power is so not a I mean, you run out of money. I work for the highest bidder, and I don't <laughs> plan on going out of business anytime soon. End her and get your voice back. This is not how things work. Please don't do this. Yes, I hate you, prima. Fighting back is useless, child. You'll never be stronger than her. Hate fuels your life power. Not for me. She'll be fine. She's just resting. And if anyone can recover from a massive dose of light-based energy... She her. seemed fine. How about that whole supernova thing I did back there? Is that gonna happen again? Maybe. It's common for meta powers to reach new heights during times of extreme stress. Just leveled up, Allegra. You did well out there, you know. Not sure the boss would agree. I organized a rogue mission while Barry was gone. I almost got Sue and Chuck killed. I mean, he but you followed left heart. And, and that's what didn't Barry would have <laughs> Dr. Olson's in jail now, too. Caitlin ran some tests. She says you're gonna be okay. Sorry, I had to... You know. How I mean, she was trying to kill you. Do that. I don't know. Dr. Olson said our powers are fueled by hate, but I thought about something else. Family. After everything I've done, you still call me that. Always. What they did to you isn't who you are, Esperanza. You know that, and I do too. There's something else. We recovered these from Dr. Olson, the files on what he did to you. Caitlin thinks she can use them. To do what? Cure you. Permanently. I mean, can you not just give her the cure? I was in charge of those lives. It was my job to get them home to their families. A dozen dinner tables have empty chairs right now because I didn't see the clues. I was too blind and stupid. Believing in somebody you love is nothing to be ashamed of. Take it. Maybe someday you'll trust someone enough to share it. I've been looking for Adam for six years on my own. Help me catch him. Uh. Where are you headed to next? Some exotic locale? Actually, I'm thinking about sticking around. What about Ralph? I've been talking to my parents. Yeah, I guess you could say, um... Finally seeing the light? Well, I guess we officially survived our unsurvivable mission. Thanks for having my back, Chuck. I literally couldn't have done this without you. It was nothing. But we do make a pretty good team. Wanna get a coffee or something? For real? Like, you'd like to... Uh-huh. With me? Yeah. <gasps> Is that a problem? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Oh, looking refreshed, man. Oh, thanks. How was your trip? Amazing. It was great. Iris and I, um, uh, Iris and I are thinking about hitting a timeshare, actually. What happened today? Nothing. Nothing. Great to see you. Oh, well, I love a show of force as much as the next guy. I gave you my cell. You do know there's a difference between reaching out and, like, punching, right? Shut up. When Norvok told me you both had iron heights, I couldn't believe it. Here we are. Come on. I'm taking you back. Again. Hmm. Looks like somebody hasn't heard the news. Ta-da! I cut a deal. My record is expunged. Now I'm just like you. One of the good guys. Okay. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. That was an episode that I didn't like. Uh, Barry was a nan and I don't like when, the, you know, I focused on characters I didn't care about. <laughs> Sorry, like the only like likeable one that I liked was Sue and because she kept speaking truth and I don't know can you tell me the redeeming qualities of this episode be nice to know uh, I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next one uh -oh.